Hi, thanks for watching my video. The other day, I made a video on this level. This is Motorsports Playground, I believe it's called. And um, I had a couple questions about a couple different things. One was, how did I get these shapes here to turn colors, and where did I get them from? Another question was, what is this, and how did I make it? Well, it's just a, a road, like like speed bumps going down. I made a video on this too. And want to know how I put lights on here. Well, I didn't. Let me show you how I did each of these real quick. We'll do the road and then after that I have to go to another level and get something. So to create those roads, I just simply use the mesh road editor. Press Alt and drag it over there. One node is red, one is white. So hit Control A and they both turn white. Come over here and make your size whatever you want. For the width, we'll say 5. And the smallest thickness you can do is 0 0.5. And that's how you make those roads. To get the color, come over here. And all of this track editor, all the way up to D, is going to be like concrete. And then from E down is black with lighting. So we'll do E border, and then you do the side and the bottom. So we did track editor E, and then we'll do it one more time, track editor E, border, and there you go. And then I just made them in each color, red, blue, green, orange, red, blue, green, orange. And once I got them, you go to, <coughs> you hold shift and then just drag up to make a copy. And I moved it over. And I just did that five times and just kept copying it until I made that. So the next question was, oh, and then the balls, they're right here. Someone asked me a question about my balls. I put an animated texture on here, highlight that, go over here and click on, well, yeah, click on shape, open in shape editor, and then click on the material and it will pop it up over here. Click on that and go to race. And inside here is a checkered pattern right there. Click open and it puts the material on there. Now, how do you animate that? Scroll down here to your animation properties. Whoops. Animations. Go to rotation. Make the speed, and there you go. That's how you make a checkerboard pattern. It's pretty cool. Next thing was these shapes right here. So this is a little bit more, it's not complicated. To make them the color is almost identical to what I did with those balls. But to get these shapes, we have to go to Grid Map V2. So let's leave here and go to Grid Map V2. All right, so here we are in Grid Map V2. I do not have any idea what I was doing here, but obviously my mind was wandering. These things are animated. Look at them. I don't even remember making this. I have no idea what I was doing here. And what is this? I have no idea. And you know the funny thing is I can't remember how I made these squares flash like this. I have no idea how I did that. Anyways. Let's... The first thing you want to do, we have to get these shapes from grid map V2 to a different level. I've made about 10 videos on this process, but I'll do it again. Click a object, come over here, and identify its location. You can see everything is inside the grids folder. So we're going to go to grid map V2 and get the grids folder. BMMG levels. I have shortcuts on my desktop. Grid map V2. 
levels, grid map V2, art, shapes, grid. There's the folder we want, drag and drop. So now we have to determine where we want to put it, what level do we want to put it in. And let's just say we're going to drop it in. <coughs> let's do it in the um, industrial. Open that. Levels, industrial, art, and shapes. This is where we're going to drag grid to. But let's open up one of these folders and go to materials and get the proper spelling for where we're going to put it. Industrial. I don't like to type anything because when I type I make errors. So we're going to highlight that and hit control C. So remember this is where this is where we are going to drag grid to. But we have to edit the materials folder in grid. So double click on grid <coughs> open up your materials folder and I use notepad plus plus and I'll put a link to that down in the description you can download it so let's open up this and if you read right here it says levels grid map v2 art shapes grid da, 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 da. so we need to change grid map v2 to industrial highlight that till it turns green press control H it says right here find what grid map V2 and change to highlight that and press control V and it will add the word industrial click on replace all 81 occurrences you can see right there it changed 81 of them let's shut this down and if you go it's it's now levels industrial art shapes grid da, 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 da. all of them have now been changed to industrial file save now what I like to do is shut it down shut that down and then reopen it and make sure that it indeed did save <coughs> so now we got that done with that done and now we're still inside industrial industrial art shapes we're gonna take our modified grid folder and drop it in there Let's shut that down, shut that down, and let's go back into BeamMG. All right, so here we are in industrial. And we're going to go and press F11. Go to our asset browser. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Industrial art. Shapes. And grid. There we go. And here's all the stuff. You can see everything's got the proper textures associated with it. And again, like I showed you in the very beginning of the video, if you wanted to edit this cube, select the cube, open, come over here and click open in shape editor. Click on materials. And then these are the materials associated. Do not mess with LOD vertical. Vert vertical. Don't mess with that. But this is the main material here. And that will open up in your materials editor. See whichever one you click on. And then you can you can just change the color or the material. In this case, we'll just change the color real quick. So that's one material. That means the top is a different material. So if you come to the next one, oh, it's horizontal and vertical. So that would be horizontal. And we'll make that one green. And then if you click on edge, that is the edge right there. And we'll make that, make it dark blue. And there you go. So that's how you get the cubes and all the shapes from grid map V2 to any level of your choice. I did industrial, but you can do 
any level of your choice. 